Hello friends and welcome back to my channel. Uh, so today I've got something a little bit different for you. I have decided to start an Uber hood because I am apparently insane. Um, this was actually brought on by two things. Uh, the main thing is that I am currently reading the Violent Delights duology by Chloe Gong, which is kind of like an Romeo and Juliet inspired story. Um, it's not a direct retelling, but it's got characters that are kind of inspired by Romeo and Juliet, and some of the plot points are very similar. Um, but reading that just made me think of Veronaville here in The Sims 2, and playing Romeo and Juliet Cap, or Romeo Montague and Juliet Cap. Um, and so I kind of was thinking of doing Veronaville, and then I went on to YouTube and had a suggested video, which was a, um, like, Uberhood introduction series of videos. Um, I think, if I remember right, the creator was a cotton sock sim, or something very similar to that. I will make sure and link down below her original video, since that was the one that kind of inspired me to do this. Um, and seeing that video and watching her introductions and her first couple of videos made me want to do an uber hood again. So I've got the three main base hood sims. I've got Pleasant View as my main hood and then Veronaville and Strange Town as uh, shopping districts. Um, so today is just going to be the introductions for Pleasant View because I have gone through and um, given all of the Sims makeovers, and as you can see, I've done a pretty good chunk of the houses. Um, these three, these four here, I haven't touched yet, um, just because they're kind of big and I don't know what to do with them yet. And then same with these two, which honestly I have literally never played in this lot because it's so big. Um, but I do have a nicer computer now, so maybe my new computer can handle it. I don't know. Uh, so these ones might kind of just sit here the way that they are until I actually need somebody to move into them. Um, but the other houses have at least been made over. I also have not touched the um, community lots yet because, again, I can't be bothered. Um, but we will jump in and I am going to introduce you to The Sims in the order that I'll be playing. So we're going to start with the Caliente household, which is sisters Nina and Dina. So here we have the Caliente sisters' house. Um, every single time that I have played The Sims 2 Pleasant View, I have made over the condos in a different way, but I actually think this might be my favorite style that I've done them in. Um, I am using the bespoke set that I found. It's, I found it on Mod The Sims. I can't remember right now who the creator is, but it's my absolute favorite. I'm also using it in Veronaville just because it really works for the cap side of the river, but you'll see that in my introduction video for that. Um, but just a quick overview of their house. Um, we have Nina's room here and her bathroom. Um, currently just an empty bedroom. I don't know if either of the twins will get pregnant, but I kind of wanted to be prepared just in case because in previous, um, iterations of Pleasant View, Nina has almost always gotten pregnant with Dawn's child very quickly, but she also never rolls any marriage wants because she's a romance sim, so she just kind of lives here in the condo with her kid, so I wanted to have a room for that. Um, and then downstairs we've got Dina's room, and it is all in pinks and purples because those are their favorite colors. Um, and I will wake them up so we can fully see them. Also have them change into their everyday. Um, and then I did play a little bit just to kind of see what might happen with some of the relationships. So Dina did invite Mortimer over on a date. They woohooed and he rolled a want to get married, but she currently just has the want to marry a rich sim. Um, so, because it's not specific to Mortimer, I haven't done anything yet there. And then Nina, um, 
also woohooed with Mortimer. Um, I made her booty call somebody. I was expecting Dawn, and um, Mortimer showed up instead because she had flirted with him when he was on his date with Dina. And by the way, here is... Where is she? There's Dina. Um, so yeah, there's Dina. Um, so yeah, currently both of the Caliente sisters have woohooed with Mortimer. Um, Dina actually has better chemistry with him. That might just be because of the fact that she's a romance sim and I and she has the, um, the reward trait that gives her that. The massive attraction. So that could be why she has higher chemistry with him. Um, but Dina only has one bolt with him. So I'm not going to rush into anything because I would also like to have, like, inter-hood relationships as well. So if she meets somebody from Veronaville or Strangetown and hits it off... We'll do it. I'm not gonna stick with her just Pleasant Town. Pleasant Pleasant View, oh my gosh. Um so yeah, we will see what happens during during their week. Um but yeah, there that's their house, I guess. Um stats as well. Uh so yeah, Dina is fortune and uh pleasure. And then her lifetime want is to have ten dream dates. And then Nina is Rome oh my gosh I'm gonna do this so that the walls don't drag nuts uh so Nina is romance and knowledge which I was a little bit surprised by that secondary for her but it's what she got um and she wants to have 10 simultaneous lovers and she also still currently has a want to woohoo with Dawn so we'll we'll have that happen um yeah, that is the Caliente sisters, and then up next will be the goth household. Okay, and then we got the goth household next. Again, I really like the makeover that I did for their house. Um, it Adding these pieces here really extended the size of the um, attic, which was really nice. Um, you also might notice that Cassandra is currently not in the household. That's because she is in the Dreamer household now. So it's really sad because I really like the bedroom that I made for her because it's very cute in all these, like, reds and grays. And then she moved out, so it doesn't matter. Um, but just quick overview of the house. Got Alexander's bedroom and attached bathroom. Um, Mortimer and Bella's bedroom, bathroom, and little closet, just because there was this funky shape that I couldn't figure out what to do with it. Um, a, like, office area that I imagine Mortimer does work in. Um, and then pretty much did not change the layout of the downstairs at all, because it's actually not that bad. Um, so yeah, just living room, dining, kitchen, bathroom. Um... Bella is currently at work. I didn't remember she had a job, but apparently she has a job as a slacker, or in slacker, so she is at work at the moment. But Mortimer is here. Or there he is. I'm currently on the toilet. Sorry, Mortimer. Um, so yeah, he currently has wants to get married to Dina and Bella. Um, so I've locked them both, and... We will see which one of the ladies rolls a matching marriage want first. And that is who he will marry, I guess. Um, yeah, because, like, I did move Bella back in because I absolutely love Bella and I couldn't not have her in the household. But she's also a romance sim. So she probably won't actually roll a want to get married. Um, so we'll see. But she is Romance and Fortune, and her lifetime want is have ten simultaneous lovers. So even if she does get married, it's it's not going to go well for poor Mortimer. <laughs> um, so we'll see what happens there. I'm not sure. Uh, but anyway, Mortimer is Knowledge and Family. Um, and he has the lifetime want, max out five skills, which he's already got two of them, and he's almost cooking so he that shouldn't take him too long at all and then 
We've got little Alexander here who is brushing his teeth before school. He's adorable. Probably one of my favorite pre-maids. I absolutely love Alexander. Um, he is still just a child, so he doesn't have a aspiration yet, but he is going to grow up in just a few days. Um, so yeah, that is the Goths, and I don't really think there's much else to say about them. So, we will move on to the next household, which is the Lothario household. Alright, so then we've got the Lotharios. Um, so, as you can probably guess, Dawn did end up leaving Cassandra at the altar when she tried to get married to him. So, instead of moving into the giant goth mansion and being a rich playboy, he is instead staying here in his condo, and he's a moderately comfortable playboy, because he's got $10,000. Um, yeah, so he is romance, and his secondary is popularity. And he has a lifetime want to become Hall of Famer, um, so he will at some point quit his job in medicine and get a job in athletic instead. Um, and yeah, poor boy wants to woohoo with three different sims, and he didn't even get to woohoo with Cassandra because he left her at the altar and then she kicked him off the lot. Um, so he didn't even get to woohoo at all. Uh, so we will see what happens there. Um, hopefully there will be lots of lo lovely ladies for him to woo. Um, or lovely men. I think he rolled as bisexual. I can't remember now. Um, but yeah, surprisingly, he's not actually that upset with Cassandra, which is kind of weird. I feel like he should be more. Um, I'm sure she's furious with him, but he is not furious with her, or even slightly upset. They just don't have, like, any friend or anything. Um, yeah, here is his house in shades of red and black and gray, because his favorite color is red, and I can't resist, like, a red theme for a romance sim. Um, so yeah, pretty, pretty simple house. Um, yeah, not much else to say about Don. Um, so yeah, we'll see. We'll just see what romance type stuff he's able to get up to in his week. Um, and then next is the Dreamer household. And then next up is the Dreamer household. Um, and I did play them for a little bit, so they are currently at the end of the day, which is why the lighting is a little bit funky. Um, but Darren and Cassandra did end up getting married. Um, so after Cassandra was very rudely left at the altar by Dawn, she invited her good friend Darren over. I wasn't actually going to make anything happen, I just wanted to invite somebody over because her social was super low because she went into aspiration failure because of being left at the altar. But she greeted him by kissing his hand and immediately fell in love with him and very quickly rolled a want to get engaged. So even though she had literally been left at the altar an hour before, <laughs> she dropped down to one knee and proposed to Darren and he said yes. Um, and then I decided to come play them. He invited Cassandra over on a date and during the course of that date, he rolled a want to get married as well. Um, so Cassandra has moved in to the Dreamer household. Uh, so they've got a good chunk of change now, because she brought about $40,000 with her. Um, so yeah, we'll see. I was not planning on having them actually get together, just because I feel like I almost always do that. But ACR did its thing, and next thing I knew, they were, they were in love. Um, so yeah, we've got Darren here. He is knowledge and family, uh, so they will probably end up having a fairly large brood of children, especially because Cassandra's quite a bit younger than him, so she'll have more time for having babies. Um, and his lifetime want is become city planner, which I feel kind of fits him because he is artistic, and so I feel like he would want to use his art, his artsiness to, like, help out the town by being a city planner? I don't know. I might change his lifetime want later, but I kind of feel like that fits. 
Um, but anyway, then we've got Cassandra looking super cute as always. Absolutely love her. Cannot have Cassandra without pigtails though. I Every time I try to do something else, it just doesn't look right. Um, but she is family slash knowledge. If I remember right, yes. Um, so she is family slash knowledge, so opposite of Darren. And her lifetime want is to become mad scientist, which she's only level three, but she's also only like probably six or seven days into adulthood, so she's fine. Um, and then Dirk, who is uh, Darren's kid with his dead wife, is the book is glitching, but that's fine. Um, he <laughs> is fortune and knowledge. Um, and his lifetime want is to become game designer, which is kind of a fun one. Um, he's also currently in a relationship with Lilith, but he has better chemistry with Angela Pleasant. Um, so we will see what happens there. That could be kind of interesting. Um, but yeah, and then their house is pretty simple. It's all, I always struggle with the dreamer house. It's just, so I can never figure out a good floor plan for it. Um, and I'm still not entirely happy with this because, like, there's no room for babies because, um, Cassandra's pregnant. Like, <laughs> she literally woohooed with Darren once and got pregnant. So I'm gonna have to figure out something because there's no room for a baby. Um, but the house isn't too bad. There's just a lot of empty space down here and then just this open area, so I might just have to extend it a little bit this way to make a nursery. Um, but that will be a problem for next time. Um, but yeah, I don't think there's anything else to say about the Dreamer household, so it will move to the next house. All right, the next house is the Pleasant household. Um, again, I did play them for a little bit, so their time is a little bit weird, so it's currently 6 a.m., which is why the lighting is kind of weird. Um, this is another house that I always kind of struggle with, just floor plan wise. It's just super weird with the roof, but I like the look of it, so I try to keep the roof. Um, I think I'm happy with how it turned out though. So each of the girls has their bedroom upstairs with an attached bathroom, um, and then downstairs is just bedroom for Daniel and Mary Sue, and then just, you know, living area. Um, so yeah, it's pretty simple, but it works. I'm gonna wake everybody up and have them get dressed so I can show you what they look like. Um, and yeah, part of the, like, pleasant household is that Daniel is having an affair with the maid, Kaylin. Um, and usually, Mary Sue, on her first day of work, gets comes home early. Because, I can't remember now if it's because she gets promoted or demoted, um, but there's usually a chance card that sends her home early, and she's supposed to catch Daniel with the maid, if you so do choose. That didn't happen. Um, so Daniel is continuing his affair with... Kaylin and uh, Mary Sue is currently none the wiser, um, so we will see if anything happens there. Uh, but here is Daniel. He is romance and fortune with the lifetime want become Hall of Famer, um, which is good because he's already in that career, so he's literally one promotion away from com completing his lifetime want. Um, and then... Got Mary Sue over here, just putting away the um, book that got left out overnight. Oh my gosh. If I can press the right buttons. <laughs> yeah, there's Mary Sue. Uh, she is Fortune slash Pleasure, which again was a surprise to me. Was not expecting her to roll that secondary, but she did. Um, and then she wants to have 10 dream dates, so she and Daniel go on dates a lot, and then we will 
see if they stay together or if she's going to start going on dates with other people as well. Um, and then we've got the twins. We've got Angela up here um, looking very pretty. Uh, now, there's absolutely no evidence to support this, but my personal headcanon is that of the two of the twins, Angela is actually the one who is, like, the troublemaker and kind of, like, I don't really want to use, like, I don't want to say slutty, but, like, she's the one who is gonna, I don't, I just, I feel like she's the one who kind of makes the bad decisions, but because she's the, the perfect child, Daniel and Mary Sue just kind of ignore it and pretend that it isn't happening, while Lilith is the one who's gonna, do the right things, she's gonna make the right choices, but because of the fact that she's the least favorite child, Daniel and Mary Sue are never gonna, like, they're never gonna see the good in her. Um, Lilith is my favorite, like, they're literally the same person, but Lilith is my favorite of the twins. Um, but anyway, Angela is popularity and family, and then her lifetime want is to become Hand of Poseidon, which I Again, I might change that later because it doesn't really feel like it fits her. Um, I'll kind of see what happens when she, di like during college and stuff, and see if there's another one that feels like it fits her better. But that's the one that she has at the moment. Um, and then Lilith, who is cleaning her teeth, <laughs> um, is popularity and grilled cheese, which I always love grilled cheese sims. It's super fun. And her lifetime want is to become Captain Hero which I actually find kind of fits with my headcanon of her being, like, the good sim who's gonna do stuff, and it's kind of like a stick it to mom and dad, like, hey, look at me, I can be a good person, I can help others, but also she just feels like the person who would want to help out. Um, again, that's just probably my head, my personal headcanon coming into play there, but I do love that she rolled that lifetime want, so we, I'm sticking with it. I will not be changing hers. Um, so yeah, that is Pleasance. Um, I did, when I was playing them for a few days to kind of get them caught up in the rotation, because it started on like a Thursday, um, I did did have both of the twins go on dates with their boyfriends. So Angela is dating Dustin Broke and Lilith is dating Dirk Dreamer. So I had them go on dates. I was kind of hoping that maybe ACR would kick in and one or two, and either of them would um, like woohoo, but neither of them did that because um, I do have teen woohoo enabled in this hood. Sometimes I turn it off, sometimes I don't, but this time I think it's kind of fun to have it on. Um, so yeah, I was kind of hoping that that might happen, but it didn't, but maybe later. Um, but Angela did get her first kiss with, um, Dustin because they hadn't had their first kiss yet, and then almost immediately they made out, so she fulfilled a couple of wants there. Um, but yeah, nothing else really to say for the Pleasants, so we will move on to the next household. So I've already made a mistake in my notes. I completely forgot to write down the Broke household in the rotation. Um, so they would actually normally go after the Lothario household, but we're just going to do the introduction here because I realized that I hadn't done that yet. Um, so yeah, here is their tiny little trailer. Turned out pretty cute. Lots of pastels. I really like it. Um, so we've got Mom Brandy here. She is family and popularity with the Lifetime Want Reach Golden Anniversary, which is a super easy one to do. Um, so we will see who she ends up marrying. Um, luckily she's got time because she's still pretty young. So I'm not super in a rush to get her married. And then we've got Dustin here, who is being super cute with Bo. Um... So yeah, we got Dustin, he is fortune and popularity as well, with the lifetime want to become head of SCIA, which was kind of a fun one. Um, didn't, it was one that when I saw it, it didn't kind of, like it, it surprised me a little bit, but I also kind of like it. So we'll keep it and then 
I might re-roll during college and see if he gets something that maybe fits a little bit better. But I also kind of like the idea of him going into SCIA. I feel like it's kind of fun. Um, and then we got little Bo. He's super cute. Um, he's a toddler, so he's currently just grow up aspiration. He doesn't have anything else. Um, and Brandy, as part of the Sims lore, is pregnant with a third child with her now dead husband. Um, so she'll be having another baby at some point during her round. Um, and then, yeah, we'll see who she ends up having any chemistry with. It would be kind of interesting, like, it could be kind of fun if she meets somebody from either Strange Town or Veronaville and is able to marry them and kind of be the first to, to bridge the gap. Um, we will see what happens there. Um, but yeah, that is the Broke household. So now we'll really go back to the next household in the rotation. So next after the Pleasants is the Burbs, which is actually kind of perfect because uh, Jennifer Burb is Daniel Pleasant's sister. Um, so it kind of works out perfectly that, like, I'm gonna play one family and then immediately go play the next family that's in that relation or whatever. Um, this is the house that I moved them into. <laughs> I always move them into this house because it's just, it's a, it works so well for them. Um, so have a very small, I mean, it's very sparsely furnished at the moment. Also, I just realized that this chair is backwards. There we go. Um... It's very sparsely furnished because they don't have a whole lot of money left. Um, but we do have a room for Lucy, room for John and Jennifer, and then living room, kitchen, dining. Um, but once they go to work, it'll they'll have a little bit more money and it'll be fine. Um, but we've got John here, who is family and romance. Um... And he wants to become ecological guru. Um, I remember right, he ended up having nature as his hobby. Um, so I kept it because it was like, it kind of makes sense. Um, so we'll see. Also, in previous versions of Pleasant View, I, he and Brandy Broke have almost always had an affair. So I'm curious to see if that will happen this time since he is a romance, like, secondary romance, so he's gonna want to flirt and woohoo a lot, and he's not necessarily gonna mean to do it with his wife, even though he's also family, so he's not gonna want to cheat. Um, so we'll see what happens there. I'm, I'm very curious. Um, and then we've got his wife, Jennifer, who, as stated, is the, um, sister of Daniel Pleasant. Um, she is fortune and pleasure so she's just gonna want lots of money and to go on dates a lot um and her lifetime want is to become world-class ballet dancer which if i remember right in her bio it talks about oh she won't use dream of being a soccer superstar okay um i thought that she like wanted to be a dancer but so i kept that lifetime want so i might change that we'll see um, and then their daughter is little Lucy here, and I loved those little buns. I couldn't resist. Lucy is just adorable. She is, I said this about Alexander Goth, but she is probably my favorite pre-made sim, and I very often pair up Lucy and Alexander when they age up, and it always works too. Like, they almost always have chemistry with each other and they roll wands for each other because they're usually like they're not friends at the moment but they usually meet each other pretty quickly and very quickly befriend each other and then they become teenagers and they become like they fall in love as well um so we'll see what happens there if that happens again this time but it almost always happens in my game because they're just so cute and I love them um but yeah so we'll see and um, yeah, I think that's all to say for the burbs. Um, trying to think if I forgot anything. I think that's everything. So yeah, we will go on to the last household in the week, or the rotation. 
All right, and then the last household in Pleasant View is the Oldies. Um, they are the adoptive parents of Mary Sue Pleasant. And I do usually just move them in with the Pleasant household because I don't like playing just elders because they're super boring. Um, but I decided to kind of mix things up a little bit this time. Plus, this way, if Mary Sue and Daniel do get divorced, I can kind of have her, like, move back in with her parents to get back on her feet. Just kind of storytelling purposes there. Um, so we'll see. The house that they moved into is actually not, like, a Pleasant View native house, I guess. Um, it is a house by a creator on Tumblr called who goes under the name Alien Pod. Um, I really like her starter houses. They're, like, they're, as you can see, they're small but affor and affordable, but also definitely playable, which is really nice. Um, so I just kind of plopped it down, adjusted stuff so that it kind of fit the aesthetic of uh, Pleasant View, but that's where they are living. Um, and then for the Sims themselves, we've got um, Herb and... Coral. Herb is romance, and also, is it Herb or Herb? I think it's Herb when it's a name, and Herb when you're talking about, like, the herb the food. I don't know. Um, anyway, he's romance and pleasure with the lifetime want. Woohoo with ten different sims. That might not happen, since he's an elder, but we'll see. Because currently, he's only going to have woohooed with Coral, so we'll see what happens there. Um, and then Coral is family slash pleasure. And her lifetime want is to have three grand, three grandchildren. Um, and currently she's at two because of Angela and Lilith. So if Mary Sue and Daniel somehow have another kid, that will help her complete her lifetime want. Otherwise, it's not happening. Um, so we will, we'll see what happens. They they might just die without completing their lifetime wants. We will, we'll see what happens there. Um, but yeah, there's really not much to say about them. They're just... They're just elders who are the adoptive parents of Mary Sue. Um, yeah, so that is Last Household of Pleasant View. All right, so that is all of the households that I've got in Pleasant View. I am, as of the time of this recording, um, currently working on Veronaville. It's taking me a little bit, it's taking me a little bit just because I have done one of, like I did the main cap household, and now I'm doing all of the other houses on that side of the river to kind of match the architectural style that I went for. So it's taking a little bit because I want to finish that before I move on to the Monty makeovers because it's going to drive me absolutely nuts if I'm looking in the neighborhood view from the lots and see if the houses do not match the same style. So I'm doing that, but there's just, there's just so many houses on that side of the river. <laughs> So hopefully I'll be able to kind of sit down and knock them out, um, because luckily each one isn't taking me too long, it's just that there's so many of them. But hopefully I'll be able to finish that pretty quickly and get the next introduction video out without too much delay. Um, yeah, we will see, because I do record ahead of time and like, queue stuff up, so hopefully I will be able to finish it and have the next episode queued for a couple days from now and not have to worry about any delays we will see um so that's the end of this introduction video for the uberhood um keep an eye out for the next one and don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i will see you next time bye